Grade 10 Mathematical Literacy, November 2019, Paper 1, Question 2. Question 2.1 specifically. The learners of Earl Croft High School want to raise funds in order to buy equipment for cricket. They decide to make a bake sale and to bake cakes and have a cake sale at the school. Study the recipe for which was taken from the internet and then answer the questions that follow. We're doing a rose water meringue cake. You require 12 large eggs, 800 grams of caster sugar, one and a half teaspoons of corn flour, one and a half teaspoons of white spirit vinegar, two teaspoons of rose water, 250 milliliters of whipped cream. Preheat the oven to 302 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake for one and a half hours. One teaspoon is five milliliters. One cup is 250 milliliters. Degrees centigrade is equal to bracket degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 close bracket divided by 1.8. Question number one. A large egg weighs an average of 51,5 grams. How much will 12 eggs weigh? Give your answer in kilograms. One egg is equal to 51,5 grams. 12 eggs will be equal to what? That's what we want to calculate. So if you remember how we did this, what do you do to go from here to here? You say times 12. Do the same on that side, times 12. 51.5 times 12 gives us a total of 618 grams. This is not the final answer, so this is part of the answer. The next thing you need to remember is your conversions. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 because kilo means 1,000, 1,000 grams. So to go from here to here, you say times 1,000. And to go from here to here, you're going to say divide by 1,000. Since I have grams, I'm going this way. So I'm going to say 600 grams divided by 1,000 gives me a total of 0, 0,6 kilograms of eggs. Question number two. How many milliliters is two and a half teaspoons? Question number two says, one teaspoon equals five milliliters. How do I know this? Because it is given to me right over here. One teaspoon is five milliliters. So the question says, how many is two and a half teaspoons? That's my question. And again, I'm going to say from here to here times 2,5. So from here to here times 2,5. 5 times 2.5 gives me a total of 12,5 milliliters. Don't forget your unit. That's your answer to question number two. Question number three, convert 625 milliliters to cups. So I know that. 250 milliliters is equal to one cup. How do I know this? It's right over here. So the question is, if I have 650 milliliters, how many cups do I have? What do I do from this to go to this? Um, I can do it one way or I can do the reverse. I can do 650 divided by 250, that gives me 2.6. So I'm multiplying by 2,6. Confirm that. 250 times 2,6 gives me 650. So here, times 2,6, meaning my answer is going to be 2,6 cups. Next question. That, that was question number three. Question number four says, the recipes in Fahrenheit convert to Celsius. Again, I go to my equation here and I write the equation. Degrees Celsius is equal to degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 
divided by 1 comma 8. Now I'm going to substitute my values. I've got Fahrenheit of 302 minus 32 divided by 1 comma 8 which gives me 302 minus 32 is 270 divided by 1 comma 8. So this is totaling 150 degrees Celsius. That's my final answer for four. Question five says, they started baking at 1135. At what time will the cake be ready? Write your answer in digital format. Okay. So, question 5, 11.35 a.m. is our start time. Our duration is one and a half hour. So, one hour, 30 minutes is our duration. So, if we add those two up, I'm going to have five minutes. 30 and 30 is a whole hour, remember? 30 and 30 is 60 minutes, which is one hour. So I carry over on 60 and not on 100. So that ends up being 3 and 1. 13.05, which is our 24-hour way of writing. But because they put AM there, I'm going to convert this to a PM writing. 13.05 is the same as 1 o'clock and 5 minutes after that, PM. 105 p.m. Question number six. I can answer it over here. Calculate how much fresh cream in liters will be required for four cakes. Okay, so for one cake, we need how much fresh cream? This recipe is for one cake, so we need 250 moles, 250 milliliters. For four cakes, we need how much? Again, you know the process. What do we do? We say from here to here is times four. So from here to here, it's times four. 250 times four gives me 1,000 milliliters. But again, the answer is not quite finished because the question says, how many liters? So I'm gonna say one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. And therefore, 1,000 milliliters, if I go that way, 1,000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter. Meaning that since I have 1,000 here, I need 1 liter. 1,000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter of whipped cream. And that's the final answer. All right, so that's how you answer question 2.1. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get notifications of all future videos. Next up is a video for 2.2.